Hi and welcome back to Skill Club. This is Ahoy Shumrev and we're here at Zoo.dev. Now, Zoo creates infrastructure for hardware design and it is a CAD software for modern hardware design. They just released their new AI which can actually create KCL code which means that you can generate these hardware infrastructures using natural language and AI. As you can see here, this is a public alpha software that is completely free. You don't have to pay a single penny to actually use this AI feature of Zoo. And you can see that you can create different stuff using just natural language prompt. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create cool stuff like this through the browser interface as well as how you can set up the Zoom modeling app on your local PC. So with that said, let's get started with actually exploring text to CAD with Zoom. And you can see on the top that this is an older version of the ML model and you can download the latest alpha version which will be on your PC. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and test a few things. So I'm just going to go with this web interface and later on, I'm going to go with the installation and how you can set this up locally on your machine. So let's go ahead and ask it to generate something for us. Let's just go ahead with one of the example prompts here. So it's going to be a half inch gear with 21 teeth. So let's go ahead and submit this and check out the results. So there you go. As you can see, we have our half inch gear with 21 teeth here. You can even go ahead and count the number of teeth here. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be 21. So this was our first experiment with Zoom. And the best part here is that you can download this in different formats here. So let's say if you want the GLB format or if you want the GTLF format, you can go ahead and download this in any format you want. So let's go ahead and click on download and there you go. You don't have to verify anything and it's just downloaded. Now, this was just a basic example. What if we want to create something really complex here? So I'm just going to go ahead and go with a couple of more prompts and then we can go ahead with the local installation. All right, so I went on and did a couple of tests here and I'm going to share whatever I learned with these tests. So I created this 120 millimeter long sheet with four circular cutouts and it did turn out pretty good. But when I tried to create a grid of circles with a diameter of five millimeter, so this was something not actually solid or not something that can be converted into a hardware infrastructure, more like a design or a wallpaper kind of thing. So it gave me an error. It says that it does not have advanced verb shapes. So you have to either go ahead and add a thickness or you can go ahead and add the word solid in it to fix this in the form. So I added the word solid right here but still the same errors so i had to look into some of the dogs and they're claiming that their ml models cannot draw something that is not clearly defined as solid or that is not clearly defined as a cad model so i went on with the next prompt which was to create a 3d cube so it did a pretty good job at that as you can see then i wanted to create a rubik's cube through this so i did some addition in the prompt and there you go, I asked it to create a 3D cube, just like a Rubik's cube, but again, it gave me the same result. So I was pretty disappointed at that, but I kept trying. So I had this really, really comprehensive prompt here, but this prompt again had some issues. So this prompt wasn't clearly describing a CAD model to be generated. This was because there were not many measurements as well as hardware aspects to this prompt. Then I went on and I added the measurements and all the angles and every little detail that I could. And I got this amazing Rubik's Cube right here, as you can see. So this was one of my favorite outputs so far. But then I wanted to experiment with more cube-like features. So I created something like this. This is totally through an accident that it created this but yeah this is really cool and i want to keep testing this amazing text to cad model and actually explore its full capabilities but for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you how you can download the alpha version so you just have to go ahead and click on download the latest alpha version here so just click there and it will take you to the zoo download and here you can choose your operating system whether it's mac os it's windows over it's Linux. I'm just going to go ahead with my Windows Intel right here. Click here and this should start up a download. And while this is being downloaded, I can go ahead and show you the pricing here. So you can see that you can try out their tools for free, which includes their modeling app and Diffure, which are currently free. And you even have API access for free for the first 40 minutes. 
then they're going to charge you 50 cents per minute for additional usage. I think this is really, really cheap. And once you have downloaded it, it's pretty much a one click install. And once you have it installed, so this is something you will see, which is Zoom more than Gap. And to sign in and get started, you just have to click here and this will open this up in the browser. So let's just click here. And you will see that this is the device activation code. And you will see something similar right here. So DFPQNMFW. Once you hit continue, this should sign you up inside your Zoom modeling app. So I have already created a project here, which is the test project right here. So let's go ahead with creating our first project. But before that, I want to talk about some of the credits that they give you. So back in your browser, if you go to your profile, you can see that you can pretty much create an access token just like GitHub or any other platform, more like API. And then you have onboarding progress here and activity logs. But the best thing here is this billing settings. So you see you have free credit of $20 once you create your account. You create a new project by clicking here and we can name this project anything. Let's just say skill curb. And I'm just going to go ahead and create this project. Once you have this created, you will see something like this. And don't be overwhelmed if this is something new to you or if this is one of your first CAD video. So basically you will see the KLC code generated right here. This is the feature tree pan. You can have your folder and file structure right here, create new files and folders, and you can have your variable pans as well. You can go ahead and create with the zoo text to guide by just clicking here and entering the prompt. So I'm just going to go ahead and generate a 3D model of a standard 3x3 Rubik's Cube and see whether the modeling app can also generate similar results as to the web app. So I actually went on and gave this text to guide a prompt to create a Rubik's Cube and uh, here is what I got. Zoo still needs some improvement. And let's go ahead with a new prompt right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask it to generate a really basic shape here. A helical grill with 36 teeth. Let's go ahead and join this. So as you can see here, it's already generated and it's asking us if we want to accept it or reject it. So I'm just going to go ahead and say accept and we will have all the code right here. And we have the 3D model of the gear. Although this internal phase should be tilted with these axes. But still, I think the generation is quite good and more like a template and boilerplate on top of which you can work and customize it. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video is helpful for all of you who are working in the CAD industry or who are working in the hardware industry and machinery. You can pretty much create hardware infrastructure using this text to CAD model by Zul. And keep in mind, this is a startup and they will keep on iterating in their model and keep on improving it. So never miss out their new updates and go ahead and actually try this out because this is completely free and you don't have to pay a single penny. So there is no reason for you to not try it out. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.